Good morning, morning Eagles. Eagles. I'm Brighton. And I'm Krista. And, and welcome, welcome to this week's episode of Eagle Eye News. Please rise for the pledge and stay standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Not a lot of announcements this week. Fortunately, we have two feature segments. First up, there has been a new change in the way the cafeteria operates. The lunch lines now run backwards. Yeah, I have mixed feelings, to be honest. You're not alone. Josh spoke with a bunch of people about the new change. Last Friday, there was a controversial decision to reverse the lunch line in the cafeteria. Students ordering food from the school now must wait outside the serving area and pay in advance. Students with a negative balance are given the reduced cost or budget lunch, dubbed the home style meal by the school. We asked students for their reactions and thoughts, both positive and negative, to the change. Kids that don't have money in their account, like they just ran out, now they have to get home style even if they can pay up that debt easily. Like I understand for the kids that won't pay up their debt, but for the kids that will. When people want to get out, they just have to like go back to everything and people aren't listening and it's just like really annoying. I don't think it's very good. The line outside is way too small and when they open the door, it covers the whole line and Jake almost got hit. They're not clear on like what's what is what's the meal of the day or whatever. So it's like hard to tell like what's going on. Yeah, they don't exactly explain like kind of the food that you can get whereas before you could always take a look before yeah. you had to pay. That's what I feel like is really like upsetting me. Um well, sometimes uh, the special illicit isn't what they say and so you, you kind of just have to guess. And I literally, I was just trying to go under it because there was a whole bunch of kids in line to get their food. And I just had a salad. So I went under it. And then these two ladies yelled at me, for what? It's despicable behavior. I don't think we should have it. Put it back to how it was. While there were various complaints about the new system, by far the most prevalent was that the lines took too long for students to get their food. It takes longer, I'm not going to lie. I have less time to eat. Like he said, it's like longer than usual every day. Even though a major complaint was waiting times, district staff adamantly disagreed. Mr. Miles, one of the administrators who was timing students last Friday, claims the average serving time is between five and six minutes. He claims this is identical to before the change. Unfortunately, we did not receive a response to our request for an interview until late Thursday night, so we were unable to ask follow-up questions. We reached out to a number of administrators, including Dr. Foyt, the superintendent, and a representative from Arbor, the food service company, District 117 Contracts. Arbor claims the change is, quote, going well and will continue to run this way, though they declined an interview as they did not make the decision. Dr. Foyt was unavailable at the time of filming. We were, however, fortunate enough to chat with Miss Hebson and Miss Bowen. The debt that students were incurring was getting a little out of hand, um, and so we needed to do some changes that didn't involve constant calling of parents and constant pulling kids down to talk to them. Um, and so looking at the way the cafeteria worked and changing that seems to be the way to go. I realize change is hard. I like that this addresses the situation. I like that students can still get something to eat, but yet students are still made aware of if they're in debt or if they're not. I know the lunch is not a long period of time, so I certainly want to maximize how much time students have, and hopefully we can get better at this system of taking your ticket and then showing it to get your order. Will the new change be successful? Time will tell. Ian Murphy. And Josh Rosentero, staff reporter, Eagle Eye News. Interesting. In what is also very timely news, the blood drive took place yesterday. Krista took a visit. What's up, Eagles? My name is Krista. And I'm Ian. We're here at the small gym to watch the lake's blood drive. Let's go inside and see what's going on. I work for Vitalent as an account manager. I help recruit volunteers, including high school students, so that they can donate and provide life-saving blood to patients in need. 
currently waiting to give our arms to that we're on our third chillaxing snack yeah. we just got I'm our just... iron checked blood pressure pulse i think that's, that's it. it took a little questionnaire it was fun so in here squeezing the pink ball saving three lives everybody three three lives you know I, should, I really encourage you to get out here you know show them who's boss um, make sure you eat something and drink water like you're like you know maybe i won't need to yeah you do yeah you do you know some people literally like pass out in here i'm doing it a different way so i got a machine next to me and pretty much what it does is it'll take my blood and then it'll shoot like something called plasma or something into me and then it'll take blood again and then do it again and it'll do it like four times over and it's pretty cool the first time i did it i got really nervous but then as time went on i started getting less and less nervous and then now i'm just used to it i'd say do it just do it there's nothing this stuff blood saved my mom's life which is that's why i donate so and we have a, there's a real big shortage on blood right now so if you're on the fence of donating or you want to donate but are scared just do it like i would just try it out do it and if you like it come back do it again if you don't like it just, just, just don't do it i don't know i think everybody should donate blood blood still has me a little scared glad to see it helps so many people though getting off the subject this week winter sports officially started Let's throw it over. I'm Shane. I'm Jessica. And this, and this is, is sports. sports. Girls basketball took a tough loss this week against Argo High School. They played McHenry last night and play Glenbrook North tomorrow. Good luck, girls. Boys basketball is a scrimmage tonight. Congratulations to Amanda Dietz, Caden Hart, Maddie Perez, Joey Cass, Brooke Goings, Dylan Banking for signing to play sports on the next level. And that's, that's it, it for sports this week, Eagles. Eagles. Now, now let's throw it over to the Royal Rush, Rush for the Royal Rush, Rush update. update. Hooyah! Hey, Eagles. Welcome to your Royal Rush update. Thank you all for coming out to the fall sports event. Now let's throw it over to the Royal Rush for the Royal Rush update. Hooyah! Hey, Eagles. Welcome to your Royal Rush update. Thank you all for coming out to the fall sports season supporting our fall athletes. The crowds we had were awesome. So sorry you haven't seen us in a while. We've been a little busy, but now we're back. And now that the winter season is underway, we're looking forward to seeing you guys out there. Have a great Thanksgiving break. See ya, Eagles! And that's it for this week, Eagles. If you enjoyed this and want to enjoy more Eagle Eye news, follow us on Instagram or Twitter at Lakes EEN. If that is enough student media for you, check out at Lakes Eagles on Instagram and Twitter or LakesStudentMedia.com. I'm Brighton. And I'm Krista. Signing, signing off for Eagle Eye News.